Welcome people. Um, this is like the very first quote unquote game I created using my 3D engine. It's a 3D platformer and essentially created to give me some experience with game making and also checking if my 3D engine does enough to allow me to make games, including the Opera Horror game. So the objective of the game is to locate and pick up these five spheres scattered around the map. And in order to do so, we need to navigate a few platforms and do a bit of jumping. So if I jump towards this uh, golden space, my score increases to 1. Um, and this rest of here is meant to be lava, so if I jump into that, I die and play resets, which is bad. So we want to jump into the lava, and we do want to pick up all the spheres. That's simple. Um, so here you see this like a chasm. Uh, we can't cross by simply jumping, we can try, but yeah, we're not close enough. Um, however, it's a lever we can pull, so let's see what happens if we pull the lever. So as the lever pulls and um, moves to the left, we see the bridge uh, extends, and this gives us a um, opportunity to cross the bridge and go to the other side, which is quite nice. So on here we need to get to like the remaining two spheres, which we need to do so by navigating these uh, five platforms. So along this one here, just to wait for another round to align ourselves correctly with the other platform. And when it happens, we make the jump, and then uh, we can get, get ourselves on top of there to uh, get like the sphere on the very top over there. Uh, so as you can see, like lightning-wise, it's I kept it quite simple. It's like one light above the uh, the other sphere over there, which casts shadow pretty much all around all around it. Um, I mean, it's not so much to show the lighting capabilities because of like different videos I made for uh, for those things. So just to show like a little game and how to play through it and get some game mechanics uh, up and running. So this game pretty much combines all the things I talked about in the past few weeks, months, um, in terms of like, uh, well the past few weeks have been mostly about glitch detection and uh, scene graphs, which the lever, the bridge, like me on the platform and like this rotating platform here are examples of, uh, of that. Uh, so there's like a simple bit of lightning, which I, which I added. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're quite happy. I can actually put uh, put this together quite easily. Um, so I also use the same glitch detection to um, to check whether or not like the place is touching one of these uh, spheres. And if it touches, then essentially play big stop, increase the score, and so yeah, it's quite trivial and simple to do that kind of thing. Um, for the lever, however, so that's the last one, and we win! Hooray! The best. Um, for a lever, uh, things are a bit different. Um, so in order to check whether or not I press the, basically do something to the lever, I basically need to press E button. And as you can see, so I don't go to a tree and press E button, it says I can collide with, and then the, um, and it gives you like the, um, the location of the collide entity. Uh, so every entity, so every object in the game, you can see, has a um, has a uh, unactivate function, which is called every time the player or another entity tries to activate it. So in this case, the player presses the I create a line from the center of the player, extending forward. Um, and if that line intersects with any of the planes of the bounding boxes of these objects, uh, it basically gets the unactivate function is called. So in terms of the lever here. Um, the lever itself uh, does a little animation which looks at the lever basically like moving and as that thing is called uh, also the bridge gets notified the lever has been pulled and then the bridge basically extends itself from one location to another location so that works quite neatly um, so that's it I hope you enjoy and I'll basically be updating my uh, this engine to uh, basically fix a few flaws which you guys probably won't have noticed but I have <laughs> Um, by creating this little uh, little game, and I'll basically keep on creating like small games and try to increase the capabilities of the engine as I uh, go along with it. 
So thanks for watching and I'll uh, hope, hope to see you guys next time. Cheers.